Hello, welcome to Edexcel IT Guru YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing on Edexcel IT Unit 1 paper, Chapter 1, Subsection of Calculating Data File Size and Time Need to Transmit. For you to learn this lesson, uh, before uh, this you need to have an idea of the number systems. So I would recommend to first watch that video if you haven't. Uh, so I have put the video link uh, on top of the right side corner. Uh, also, I will add the link to the description of this video. So I would recommend first go through the number systems and conversions video before you are starting on this video. Also subscribe and click on the bell icon to get the notification as I keep on adding new videos frequently so you won't miss them. Okay, under this section, we are covering the following subtopics, bits and bytes, bytes in reality how binaries are stored in a computer, uh, the file sizes ranging from bits to terabytes, then we learn data transmission speed and there are some practice questions for you to do after the lesson. If you find difficult finding the answer, please leave a comment with the question number, you need the answers. So we did the number systems in a previous video, video and now you know the computers store their data using the binary system that has zeros and ones. Binary numbers are made of uh, binary digits called as bits. So whatever the data that we give to the computer that is stored as ones and zeros. So how this is happening? According to the ASCII and Unicode we discussed in the previous video. So these binary ones and zeros are stored in computer. But how? We know computers have processors, right? These processors have circuits. And these circuits have billions of transistors. Billions. A transistor is a tiny switch that is activated by an electrical signal. It receives... Uh, look at the diagram. In the bottom, it has a binary value that has ones and zeros. One, uh, zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero. Uh, if you look at, at the top part of the diagram, ones are showing as an on bulb and zeros are shows as off bulb. Likewise, all 8 bits are stored in the transistor of the computer processor. Okay, now we are talking about the file sizes. A bit, a bit is, a, is the smallest unit of data which holds either 1 or 0. The, the unit of a bit is represented by a lowercase b, whereas a byte, a byte is a sequence of 8 bits. Uh, a byte can represent a letter, uh, a number or a symbol. The unit of a byte is represented by an uppercase b. Okay, so now there is a small difference. This is mainly due to two standards, IEC standard versus the SI standard. Those are the two tables that I have put down here. The prefix kilo means thousand, right? Uh, because computers uh, use binary or base uh, two numbering, a kilobyte is actually equal to 2 to the power 10, which is 1024 bytes. This is why there are 1024 bytes in a kilobyte. According to the SI standard, there are 1000 bytes in a kilobyte. Uh, so, according to the IEC, it has 1024 bytes in a kibibyte. So, see the difference in the, the two uh, tables. Uh, one kibibyte, that is uppercase K, simple I uppercase b it has 1024 bytes that is 2 to the power 10 in the second table 1 kilobyte uppercase k and uppercase b that has 1000 bytes so in the exam check out what unit they refer if it's asking for kibi bytes you need to remember that you have to use 1024 bytes for a kibi byte in your calculations or anything you need to Remember, if it is kibibyte, it's 1024 bytes. Whereas if they say kilobytes, you can take 1000 bytes for a kilobyte. The same concepts apply for megabyte, gigabyte and terabyte as well. 1000 kilobyte is a 1 megabyte and 1000 megabyte 
is uh, 1 gigabyte and 1000 gigabyte is 1 terabyte. Please see the tables to understand the differences. Uh, here are some example storage sizes to get an idea of the sizes. Uh, one ASCII character in a text file is a one byte. For an example, if uh, letter A, if uppercase letter A is written as 01000001, uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, that is uh, in binary, which is 8 bits, which is uh, 8 bits equals to 1 byte. So if there's letter A, that is 1 byte. Uh, the word Monday is, uh, in a, if, it is, if the word Monday is in a document, it's 6 byte because it has 6 letters. And then a plain text email would be like few kilo, uh, kilobytes. Uh, it's like uh, 2 kilobytes, 5 kilobytes, something like that if it's a plain text email. And if, it, if there's a small resolution image, it could be like 1000 kilobytes or something like that. Whereas if there's a high resolution image, uh, uh, image it could be uh, some megabytes a, a movie file could be few gigabytes okay these are the units of transfer speeds uh, notice the difference between the first two units the first one it's sim upper uh, lowercase b lowercase b lowercase s means bits per second note uh, the small b is to indicate bits and not bytes. The second one is uppercase B and PS. That means bytes per second. So when they give the uh, numbers, you need to check whether it's sim uppercase B or lowercase B. And KBPS means kilobytes per second or thousand bytes per second. And the fourth one is KIB. PS that means KIBPS that means Kibi byte uh, per second which is 1024 bytes per second. So likewise we have uh, megabytes per second, megabytes per second, uh, maybe bytes per second and uh, gigabytes per second and Gibi bytes uh, per second likewise. Now that we know the data transfer speed units, what is really data transfer speed? Data transfer speed is a measure of data that is transferred from one location to another in a given amount of time. Data transfers are measured in bits per second or bytes per second, which is capital uppercase B. Uh, a bit is represented with the lowercase b and byte is represented with uppercase b. For example, kbps means kilobits per second. And if the B is uppercase, then that means kilobytes per second. Uh, so to calculate the time need to transfer a file is size of file in bits divided by transmission speed in bits. So when you are given in different units, it could be they might be given the file size in bytes and the transmission speed in bits. You need to convert all of the units into bits and do the calculation. Otherwise, you will get the answer wrong. Here are some uh, example questions. In the second question, you don't have to solve until you get the last answer because it takes time to uh, do the calculation. So just having the expression is sufficient to get the marks in Edexcel. Uh, if you need answers for any of these questions, please leave a comment. And this question is from my Excel past paper. Notice the first part. It is asking the answer in maybe bytes and not from megabytes. If you are given the answer in me uh, megabytes, uh, apply in uh, thousand uh, kilobytes per uh, thousand kilobytes, then uh, the answer is wrong. You have to use the uh, equation as like 1024 bits uh, for a kilobyte something in the second part remember to get all the values to bits and bits per second units again if you need answers leave a comment with this video uh, edexcel unit chapter 1 is completed i'll be creating another playlist of videos for chapter 2 that is networks and stay tuned good luck